Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another D stash haul, um, mainly because it was requested, I guess. This is another D stash that I had gotten from Rebecca, my friend Rebecca, that I had talked about in my last D stash video. And this is for some bags of Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I don't believe that she is D stashing anymore right now. I kind of got in on the tail end of her personal stash, de-stash that she was doing from Facebook and basically just asked her if she had any more Sassy Girl Aroma and she sent me pictures of what she had and I just asked her how much she would charge me for six bags and picked the scents that I wanted and she sent them to me. Again, charged me well below retail and I was excited because all of these with the exception of one are really what I would consider like fall and winter scents and I hadn't ever tried fall and winter scents from Sassy Girl Aroma so I was really excited to get my hands on these. So I don't have scent notes for anything but I feel like most of it is going to be pretty self-explanatory just by the names. So I'm just going to show you guys the chunks and what everything looks like and what everything smells like and yeah that should be just about it and I did get a new tripod for my birthday so no more tripod drama at least for now so that is awesome okay so this first one right here is yeah excuse the trash in the background um pink sugar strawberry patch and this is the only one that I would consider to be like a spring and summer melt. So this one is going to be basically what I'm smelling is uh, fresh picked strawberry and then pink sugar. And the pink sugar is not super duper strong on this. It's mainly going to be the um, the fresh picked strawberry. It smells really good. It smells really, really, really good. I want to melt this right now, actually. And I might. Um, I have guys here repairing my bathroom, like redoing my whole bathroom, putting the new shower in, the new, you know, toilet, new flooring, new paint, everything. So in and out background noises, you may hear some coughing or even some talking. I apologize. This probably isn't the most opportune time for me to film, but it's actually the quietest my house has been in quite a while, so we're just gonna go with it. But yeah, this smells amazing, and I I really wanna melt this pretty much right away. And I probably will, because it smells really, really good. I've never thought to melt, to blend pink sugar and fresh picked strawberry. But this is really, really well blended. Pink sugar is one of those scents that is kind of hit or miss for me. I feel like sometimes I love it and sometimes I don't. I go in stages. And so sometimes when I feel like pink sugar is overly blended, like it's the strongest note, it kind of turns me off. This isn't like that. This is mostly strawberry. And the pink sugar in this is very, very well blended. So that is that one. Then we will go to blueberry caramello pretzels. I don't have a lot of pretzel blends. There aren't a lot of vendors that do a pretzel blend. But I like a pretzel blend every once in a while. It's got a little bit of a like savory note to it. Like you can smell the the salt on the pretzels and whatnot. So this one here is blueberry caramello pretzel. I'm gonna assume the caramello is a caramel note. 
and that's it's not like a a crazy sweet caramel though I'm mostly getting blueberry and then the pretzel. This smells like, it smells like a blueberry muffin, but with the like savory note of the pretzel blended. I don't really even know how to describe this one, but I really like this. And I don't think it's something that I would have picked out for myself on my own if it was in an open restock. But it sounded really good when Rebecca said that she had it. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm interested in trying that. Yeah, this is this blueberry pretzel is really good. The caramel, I'm not really picking it out. I'm mostly getting blueberry and pretzel. It's very interesting. I like it. I do like it. That would definitely be one that I would melt in the fall because it's a little heavy this next one right here is wintergreen noel and this one is throwing honestly before i even open the bag and this one honestly smells like mint gum to me like, like mint gum is what this smells like. If you um, have ever had the Bathing Gardens Tea Berry Bubble Gum, that is a lot like what this smells like to me. In fact, it's so wintergreeny that I'm not really even picking out the Vanilla Bean Noel. It really, it really just smells like mint gum. It's very strong. Matter of fact, I heard um, Just Jenny say this in one of her videos and it's very true. This smells like Pepto-Bismol. It totally smells like Pepto-Bismol. And I know that's that might be a turnoff for some people because I know in, in just Jenny's video, that was what she said like was a scent that she can't stand because it just reminded her of being sick as a child and having, having to take Pepto-Bismol. Um, for me, it doesn't bother me. It's not a problem, the scent smelling like Pepto, but it really does. I mean, it smells like you opened up a bottle of Pepto. That is what that smells like. And mint gum, of course. And I think Pepto and mint gum kind of smell the same anyway. Like that's my personal opinion. And I know it's to like make that particular medicine more appealing for like kids to take it and stuff. So um, it's not a problem for me that it smells like Pepto, but it totally does. Okay, next one, we're gonna do roasted pine cones. And this one was a pretty sophisticated blend. I had to look it up, because I wasn't really sure what to expect. I don't, unfortunately though, have the scent notes anywhere. But what I can tell you is it's a like Christmas tree-ish type scent. Definitely fall and winter very very Christmassy like like green Christmassy like a fresh tree or a fresh Christmas wreath is what it smells like to me I don't get I was really concerned that there was going to be an overwhelming like fireside scent or like a bonfire type note and that that is not one of my favorite notes so I was a little scared of this one, but I'm not getting that. This is very fresh and smells very, very much like a Christmas tree or a Christmas wreath to me.
All right, I've got two more. And I saved these two for last because they're my actually my two favorites. This one here is Fall Yoga Pants by the Fireside. This is another one that I thought was going to have like a bonfire element. And it kind of does. But it doesn't bother me. This one smells, and this was another one that was a really sophisticated blend that had a lot of notes. Because I looked these up when I when she sent me pictures of what she had. I looked them all up to see if it was something I would like. And I thought I would give this one a shot. Again, I don't have the scent notes, but I definitely smell apple and like an apple cider. And a little bit of a bonfire note. And possibly, maybe even like a, uh, maybe even a little bit of a bakery element. But it, it really does smell like apple cider and like maybe toasted marshmallows. Very, very, very excellent fall blend. Excellent, excellent fall blend. And again, probably not something that I would have ordered for myself had it been like an open restock and I was, you know, buying stuff directly from the website. This, I don't think this one would have called out to me, but I, I now know that I really like it. I'm gonna have to melt it, of course, but I now know that I really like it. So this fall, if she pours it, I'll have to get some. And then the last one here is Mint Keebler's. This is a peppermint cookie blend. So mint and bakery. Which I adore during the holidays. Love mint and bakery. And that is exactly what this is. This smells like very, very, very much like grasshopper cookies, which are from Keebler. It smells very much like Thin Mints, the Girl Scout cookies. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But yes, this is, this is really, really nice. And again, I don't know what the scent notes are, but it does smell like grasshopper cookies, Thin Mints cookies, basically any type of minty, cookie. But it's it's super yummy. What a mess. What a mess. Anyway, so let me see if I can get this bag closed real quick. I'm going to have to pack these better in here because this is a hot mess. But anyway, that is my, oh yeah, that's packed really bad. So that is my de-stash haul that I got from Rebecca. So thank you very, very much, Rebecca, again, for, um, selling these to me. I really, really like them. And these dashes are kind of nice because they offer you the opportunity to buy something that maybe you wouldn't purchase again on your own in a regular restock. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have an excellent day. Bye.